Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. So this is day two of my series of the first five days of owning your Cricut. And all I want is at most 45 minutes a day for the first five days. And I promise you at the end of the five days, you can look at all my other videos and follow along and it'll be easy peasy. So day one, if you missed it, was yesterday. And um, day one was just an overview of Design Space. So here are all the features and tools that you can use within Design Space. Um, things that I didn't know how to do, right? Like how to get a little hole out of your tag that you want to make the gift tag for um how to change a square to make it you know skinny like a rectangle i mean i just didn't know how to do the basics so it gave you um a good overview of all the features within design space so that you could start designing a little bit it'll still be tough but at least you understand what everything's used for Day two is today. Day two is what to buy. All the supplies, where to buy it. Um, and you can see my list right here. I'm gonna provide that list on my, oops, let me move myself over so you can see the rest of my list. Um, okay, so this is where to buy it and what to buy. And it's gonna sound crazy, but this is the, I would say this is a bare minimum so that you have tools and your supplies so that you can do almost any project. And you're still learning about what you like and don't like. So we, we may not be ready to invest in a ton of stuff, but I feel like these are the basics that you're going to need um, no matter what your project is, okay? Um, day three, so tomorrow I'm going to take you into Inkscape, Font Lab Pad, and Font Cloud. All three are free, and so I don't get anything or, or anything like that for getting you to use it, um, but these are essential to make your life so much easier and to make your projects look amazing. So we'll do that, that's day three. Day four is I'm gonna have my machine in front of me, show you how to change blades, um, tips and tricks of you know how to use it, how to feed it in, uh, I don't know, just how I use my machine. Day five is we're gonna do a simple, simple project, but I'm gonna do the same project. I'm, I'm gonna do just a name with an outline, okay? Because I know the outline um, is something that everyone wants to learn how to do. So we would have learned how to do that the day before, but we're gonna reinforce it on day five, and I'm gonna cut it out in different materials. So I'm gonna cut out a name with an outline in HTV, so, so that you can iron it onto something, uh, vinyl, so you can stick it on something like a water bottle, and then also on cardstock. So if you wanted to do like party banners or cake toppers, it gets, gives you a feel for what cardstock is like and how to mix materials. All right, so that's the first five days and that's it. And then after that, you can actually start doing projects because you know enough about design space and um, the machine to be able to come up with ideas and how to do it. All right, so let's talk about the must buys. This is day two because if you order it now, you might be able to get all this stuff in time to start day six. I'm not gonna officially start day six, but you know what I mean. So, all right, first thing is let's go to cricut.com. So I do get a percentage um, as an affiliate. So if you can use my link, it helps me do these videos and I just totally love the support that you guys give me. So anyway, I will provide that link, but let's go to cricut. All right, so I've already done my little shopping cart. So let's look at my at the shopping cart. Oh no, that's not what I want. I want to see the shopping cart. Mm. Hold on, where's my shopping cart? Okay, here's my shopping cart. All right, so my shopping cart has mats. Okay, don't don't flip over and die on me. <laughs> This is a big investment, but I promise you, in the long run, it is so much better than buying it any other way. So I use these green mats for everything, for paper, vinyl, um, HTV. I don't care what anybody says because people are like, oh, your paper ripped because you used this mat. I use this mat because it's the cheapest mat. So if you look at this, this is a 25 count of 12 by 24 though. So it's two 12 by 12 basically, right? Even if you never use anything more than 12 inches, it doesn't matter. You can just feed it in and just put load up your mat on the top half, okay? So what's nice is it's basically like having two mats, right? So if you wanna count it as a 12 by 12 mat, you have 50 of these mats, okay? 
And so each mat comes out to be about just about $2.24, okay? Let's look at these mats and see how much they actually cost, right? So if you were to buy it, um, one, this is two count, okay? So two is $7.75. So let's just round it up to $8, okay? That means each mat is $4. Four for a 12 by 12, right? That's expensive. So if you just went and got the bulk, you don't need to worry about it, right? Um, look at this one, a three pack for $20. And that's on sale. Normally it's $41. <laughs> Bananas, right? So, and you'll see me if you watch my videos. I use that green mat for everything. I Yes, I have a few of these mats from when I first bought the machine and either it came with my bundle. I don't remember. I don't I may have bought one or two before I realized like, this is crazy. And then when I did the math behind it, look at even this is a two by two for $11, right? So $9 for one mat, like no way. Okay, so we've all agreed that that's the way to go, right? <laughs> all right, so let's see what else is in my mat. I mean, in my cart. Um, the next one is my true control kit so it is for for times when um i use this for when my cricut didn't cut my material all the way through it's nice to have a little something to continue that cut for you like the cardstock didn't cut through the htv didn't cut through i also use this for my foam board so lots of projects and it's 875 and it comes with replacement blades i've yet to change my blade and i've had this for quite some time and i use this quite a bit because i use i do all my off the mat characters those all have foam board that i manually hand cut with this okay Let's look at our cart. Let's see what else is in my cart. Um, so I know this looks like a lot of money. Um, you don't need a rotary cutter, but it's nice to have one. Um, it's $10, so I, I don't know. <laughs> a brayer. You may not think that you need a brayer, but you do. So the brayer, what it does is um, your loading mat, that green sticky mat that you stick into your machine. This helps, I mean, I used to press down with my hand to get my material to stick and it looks like it's sticking, right? And then I run my brayer on top and I hear it sticking some more. <laughs> so this thing is amazing. It really does help you with your cuts. You get a better cut because it's stuck to the mat. Your blade, you know, cuts better. Um, if you're cutting with paper, it helps because <clears throat> excuse me if your paper is not down completely on the mat you may tear your it'll cut and it'll tear your paper up so you need this brayer this little thing just helps you remove the stuff so you can kind of see it here um all right let's go to my mat or my cart I need to stop saying my mat um next thing in my cart so so far i say buy everything but the rotary cutter because you could get away with just the true control kit. So the rotary cutter is kind of just like extra, but I do use this quite a bit. All right, your basic tool set. You do need this. I can't remember if it if it came with my um, Cricut Maker or not, but at $13, you get quite a bit in here. So let me show you what, what comes with it and what I use. Um, you definitely need this little scraper guy. Um, this thing I use a lot to help me fold things in half. So like my butterflies that, you know, um, have multiple layers, that's nice to have as well. Um, but you also use it to transfer things. So let's say you're making a sticker label for your water bottle. You're going to transfer the whole thing, you know, your vinyl all the way on. So you use this, um, this little scraper thing. I forget the, the, the name for it, but you get it so that it sticks onto your transfer sheet. And then when you transfer it and you're applying it to something, this helps lay it down for you to peel it off, uh, peel off the transfer sheet. So you definitely need this tool. I love this pair of scissors. It's so sharp and I only use it for fabric. Um, don't use it for paper because paper dulls the blade, but this is a very sharp um, pair of scissors. Um, this one I use to pick, to weed. So when I cut out the name Charlotte, for instance, the O has a little piece on the inside that I need to get rid of. So this helps me pull out those little pieces. 
This one helps me lift the paper off the mat. So it'll, it'll dig underneath the paper and it'll like loosen up my paper so that I can peel off my cardstock. So I definitely need this. This is a pair of, I, they're almost like tweezers. So that's helpful for like when you're transferring small things. Um, it also helps me like, for instance, if I have the eyes on these off the mat characters, it'll help me like kind of like, I use them as chopsticks. So I grab the, the small piece and then I glue it and then I apply it down. So this is a great tool set to have. All right, on to my next thing in my cart. Um, okay, now we're just into like paper. So I will show you where to buy a lot of paper, which is Michael's and Joanne's on sale, but here are the good deals on here. Glitter cardstock sampler. I love this pack. It has the prettiest colors and it's $5 and I believe it has 10 sheets. Let's look at it. Um, yeah, 10 sheets. So you kind of get a feel for like the types of cardstock that you like. Glitter cardstock is in general expensive, but if you follow me, I always tell you when it's on sale. So when it's like 50% off, I'll tell you when to buy. So this is really pretty. You can see behind me, I've used this particular pack. This blue is Cinderella. Uh, this, this pink right here is my graduation butterfly cap. Um, and I've used these for other things. I can't remember, but this is a great purchase and it will also show you the difference when you line it up side by side on a project with regular cardstock versus glitter cardstock to see if this is the type of thing that you want. Um, but this is a great pack for $5. Um, for you to try out glitter. Now, the other thing is you may see glitter cardstock cheaper elsewhere. Be careful because what happens is, and I, cause I use a lot of glitter cardstock and for a lot of my orders, um, sometimes it's not worth it. Some of the other papers, the other brands, the glitter will shed. So it will ruin your mat and your blade. <laughs> I hate that. Um, it also doesn't shimmer as well. So like it, it just, even though it's glitter, it's very dull. Um, you can see here, I feel like even on camera, you could see, even though it's far, you can see that elf, his hat is like blinging, right? It's so pretty. So um, there is there is a difference in materials. All right, let's go back to the cart and see what else. There's a couple more paper purchases that I want you to order, or I think you should, but it's so cheap, why not? Um, the glitter cardstock sampler, this gives you the more basic, basic colors. That last one was a pastel sampler. So this one is your red, your blues, your greens. So you get a feel for like really bright colors and it's 525. Again, it's 10 pages, um, 10 sheets. This sparkler paper sampler, it is light glitter cardstock. From a distance, you may think it is, but it has a smooth feel. So there's like a, a laminate on top as opposed to the glitter cardstock where you can feel the glitter. So that those, that's the difference, but check out the price. $2.62, you can try out this paper. <laughs> all right, that is all that I want you to buy from Cricut. I will talk about something really quickly though. So you see my subtotal is 184. I do have Cricut access, I pay for that. Um, I. I like it because it gives me some images. It gives me a discount here. Um, and if you want to just try it for a month, just pay for it for a month and then cancel it. Um, but it gives you, I mean, right here, it's, you know, an extra $42 off. So it's definitely worth it to try it for one month. All right. So all of this is $153. I know it's a lot. You could take off this, like I said, the rotary cutter, not a big deal. You may already have some of these things, so it may be cheaper, but I definitely would get the paper just so that you have a sample of things and these mats you you need to because this is a long-term purchase um you're gonna have these mats for a long long time and it's just so much cheaper okay moving on so we're gonna now go to my amazon shop so if you go to amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter it's not that hard to memorize but i will have the link um i have my all my projects um, here. So 
projects and ca general categories. So a lot of things that you're gonna find right now is under crafting products and Cricut related products. So things that you might just need for crafting but not specific to your Cricut, that's the difference between the two. Um, but then, you know, personalized party favors, off the mat characters, if you wanna do acrylic signs, Christmas decor. So you can see I've really broken it down um, by projects. Um, and also other things, cake topper materials. If you are big on your social media account, these are things that I've bought that I'm currently using. Um, so you can kind of see, but let's go to the basics that I'm highly recommending, okay? So I'm gonna go into Cricut related products. There's just a handful of items on here. Okay, um, Teflon sheets. This is for your iron on um, products, projects. So um, between your Cricut press or a heat press that you have or your iron, I don't recommend you using an iron, but if you have it and you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So if you can't purchase one of those things cause it, it, does, it is um, costly, but the Teflon sheet will protect your materials from getting burnt from your iron or your press. I highly recommend that. Okay, let's talk about these blades. I will show you how much the blades cost on the other page as well. This is $10, okay? I'm gonna go to that last because I, you need to buy that. If there's nothing else that you buy, you need to buy the blades and this Teflon sheet. I'm serious. <laughs> okay, Neato labels. Oh my gosh. You can check out my Instagram post, the difference between what I was using and once I found this brand oh my gosh it's so bright so pretty these are great for sticker labels party labels like uh, gift bags and treat bags so you'll want to use that this over here jet opaque this is for your printable htv so if you want to make a t-shirt and it has a lot of details and you don't want to um uh, what do you call it would layer it like you don't want to have 10 sheets of different color HTV um, sheets, then you can just print out one sheet, prints out the whole thing. Like for instance, if I took a picture of myself, I can have a picture of me on a shirt. Um, you would use the jet opaque sheets. So you would um, send the, the picture to your printer and it'll print on this sheet and then you can iron it onto your shirt or whatever you end up ironing it on. So let me make sure that I hit everything. So Teflon, Blades we're going to talk about, printable HTV, needle labels. Okay, there's one more thing that's not in here that I will show you. Actually, I'm just going to show you on camera. So this is on my Amazon shop. I think it's under Cricut related products, or I'm sorry, crafting related products. It's the We Are Memory Keepers Quick Stick. Okay, what's cool about it is on this side, it has like a tacky kind of glue piece so it can pick up all your small pieces that you craft with. And usually I use this with paper products. So if you think of like a small piece, like the iris of your eye, it's really small. I'll pick it up with this, it'll stick on here and then I can glue or tape the backside and then put it on my project. This side is like a, um, it helps me like push out all the glue or it helps you reposition pieces. So this is a great tool. And I wanna say it's like $10. Okay, let's look at these blades, okay? So you may be worried about your warranty. The big thing that everyone says is, if you use non-Cricut materials, your warranty is voided. Well, the warranty is only for a year to begin with. Um, so it's up to you. You can see I've purchased this. I've purchased almost everything that I recommend except for toys sometimes where someone else has bought it for us. But my list is all things that I've used. Um, okay, so this is $10. Only use the blue ones, okay? This is for my maker. So it's $10 and it's 30 pieces, okay? So um yeah it's super cheap right let's go back to over here and let's look at these blades so these are under um so and i have to replace my blades a lot because i use um i cut a lot of cardstock and cardstock will dull your blades fast and don't listen to the people who tell you to sharpen it with foil you can't sharpen these premium blades with foil. Otherwise, I mean, it just doesn't even make sense to me, but anyway. Um, 
$7.50 for one blade. Let me bring you back over here. For 30, you get 10, $10. So um, yeah, I've been using these and I love it. I haven't had an issue since doing this because I got cheap and I didn't want to replace my blades. And now it's like, as soon as it starts to cut a little poorly, time to change a blade because it's $10 for 30 of them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So blades, we're done with Amazon. Let's go to Michael's or Joann's. So I like using this Tombow um, glue runner. This is the pro option. So I'm not telling you to buy this many, but this is what I like. So buy it when it ha when you have the 50% off coupon and you just want to buy one. I use this a lot for my paper material paper projects because what happens with cardstock is if you use glue and you're not careful, it tends to warp the paper. Either the paper starts to kind of like curl up or it wrinkles and that's not cool when you're doing like off the mat projects and the skin color and all of a sudden there's like creases in the face or like little bubbles. So I like to use this tape. All right, let's see what else is in my cart. The other thing that's in my cart is I don't recommend buying paper from Cricut because it gets expensive. So I like these pads. They're 12 by 12 pads. This is a bad one to show you, but I couldn't quickly find it. It's usually right when you walk in and they're having a sale, it's normally $20, but they will go on sale for $5. And sometimes during that sale, they'll have an extra 20% off. So you can buy them in the $4 range. Um, that is when I load up. I buy all my reds and blues and greens. It's a great way to, and they're pretty paper. I use them for my cards, uh, for my um, banners, cake toppers, all of that, and for these. So sometimes I'll mix it up. You need to mix up your cardstock because if you do something that's all glitter, it doesn't pop out because everything's glitter cardstock. So you want all these different colors. You want to try them out. And like I said, when you buy a whole pack for $5, it's definitely worth it. Same thing with the Recollections um, uh, eight and a half by 11 sheets. You're gonna want these. This is $6 for a pack. No, buy them when it is four for $10. And sometimes there's an additional sale on that as well, but that's when you wanna buy it. Or sometimes it's, I wanna say it's, buy five for $10. So that's when I stock up, I'll get my gold paper, all my different colors. Sometimes you don't need the 12 by 12. So you wanna have this on stock as well. Um, okay, so I tend to shop more at Michael's than I do at Joann's, but I feel like Joann's has the same equivalent. So you just need to wait for the sale, but I will always tell you when I'm buying stuff. All right, so let me, let's look back at this sheet to see what I've hit. Um, Cricut we've done, Amazon, Michaels, Vinyl Supplier. Okay, so from Amazon, I said Vinyl. And the reason why I said Vinyl here on Amazon is if you don't know what you want to concentrate on yet, it's nice to buy a sampler package from Amazon. So if you buy HTV or just regular adhesive vinyl, you can buy the sampler package. It has, I don't know, like 20 colors. So you can see what kind of colors you like. Um, you can also see whether or not you like to do those projects. If you never do labels, like you never personalize cups or notebooks or I don't know, then you don't need a lot of vinyl. Um, but you want, might want different colors. So I feel like it's a, a it's a good start to just get a sampler package so you can get a bunch of different colors. And then when you know the type of projects you wanna do and the colors that you typically like, then I would go to a vinyl supplier like 143 Vinyls. I do not get anything from 143 Vinyls. I just happen to buy a lot from them. Um, so let me show you what I buy on here. So from 143 Vinyl, what I will do is I will buy HTV and I go to Sizer and I do my glitter and I do them in a roll. It is the cheapest way to buy it. I know the colors that I use a lot. I use black, um, I'll have a blue, this blue is gorgeous. Um, I also do gold and sometimes with the gold, silver and the black and white, sometimes when it's on sale on Cricut, it's actually cheaper to buy a bulk roll from Cricut. So I will also let you know, it, with my Cricut Access, 
sometimes it comes out a cheaper than here. Um, but on, from here, I definitely have this glitter blue. I also have a green and I have some of the pinks, of course, you know, I have a, a girl, so I have lots of colors here. So that's what I do is I buy the 12, 12 inch by five yards. So it's a lot, it's a big commitment. And for one color, it's $42. So I totally get it. That's why I'm telling you this, this is only if you know that's what you want to do, because even getting two colors, you're running close to $100 already, right? Which is why I'm telling you, if, if you're just getting started, get a sampler package. It's, I don't know, 20 bucks. It may not be the best quality. You don't need that right now. You just gotta know whether or not you like it and you have it on hand. You can try it out on products. When you're at the beginning, you're not selling things yet, right? You're just making gifts for fa family and friends you know what, so what if it lifts? I mean, you're still learning right now anyway, right? So what if you mess up on the product, on the project? You're really just finding out what kind of projects you like to do and whether or not um, you wanna invest more. So, all right, so going back to the vinyl supplier, I buy that and I also buy my adhesive vinyl. So here under vinyl, I will go to either permanent or I think that's actually all that I've bought from here. And I usually do my mat and I will also do um, the 12 inch by 10 yards. I don't like the 24 inch because it is cheaper when you break it down, but I don't like cutting it. And also I've bought from another brand where it's 15 inches and again, it's cheaper, but then I gotta trim everything. I'm already trimming lengthwise i also i don't want to trim width wise as well so at some point a little functionality is nicer than just you know saving a ton of money and then i have all these scraps and i just hate it so anyway that's what i buy so go purchase it i have my links i really appreciate it if you support my links and i will see you tomorrow when we start doing more fun stuff all right thanks guys let me know in comments if there's something that you wanna buy. Like I said, a lot of my Amazon shop is by products or projects. So if you know you wanna do cake toppers, you wanna to go there and buy your like, your dowels. Um, um, I don't know, what else, do I, what else do you need for cake toppers? Like the glitter and stuff like that. Um, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.